is Ajay for Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see how to create a Spring Boot application and how to run it. To make our life simple, Spring has created a start.spring.io URL, which is going to create a Spring Boot application out of the box from the dependencies which we provide in this UI. So if you see here, this Spring initializer is going to define all the variables which we need for creating a web application or a standalone application or a uh, scheduler. So which is going to use Spring Boot as a base. So here you can select either a Maven or a Gradle project with the version of Spring Boot. So let's say I select the stable version of Spring Boot which is 1.5.1. You can give a group name here. So let's say I I do tech primers artifact is Spring Boot demo. So here we have a dependency. So for simplicity I'm going to create only a web application. So I select web. There is also a full version of uh, this initializer where you can select the packaging, what type of packaging you need, either a jar or a war, what version of Java you need, 1.8 or 1.7, and same way what language you need, Java or GUI or Kotlin. Also, you can manually select the dependencies here. If you see here, there are a bunch of dependencies here. I'm not going through everything, but for simplicity, we are going to use the web application. Uh, let's click the generate project button. So once you click the generate project button, it is going to download a zip with all the project structure. So I already have unzipped it for our demo purpose and I opened it in IntelliJ. If you see here, this is the project structure which it is going to give. So you have a pom.xml. So if you see the pom.xml, this is going to have the group ID which we mentioned there, artifact ID, whatever we mentioned, version will be by default, what is the packaging type. If you see there is a parent tag. So this is what is going to define that our project is a Spring Boot application. So we define that we are a child of this parent, Spring Boot and this particular version. Also, the dependencies are by default mentioned here. If you see here, we are creating a web application. So you already have the dependencies injected automatically here. So what about the Java files? So if you navigate through the source main Java, we have only one Java file, which is going to be the main file, which is annotated with something called Spring Boot application. So this annotation is going to tell your Spring Boot framework that, okay, this is my start. So start from here. We have an application or properties file, which is currently empty, but by default Spring Boot, when it boots up, it launches and adds these application properties to its context. So let's start this particular Spring Boot application. So here how I'm starting is I'm not giving anything extra. I'm just going to give the main class. and I'm just giving what is the class part. That's it. So this is going to bring a web application, basically a REST endpoint under the port 8080 by default. So if you want to change the port number, we can go to the application properties and then change that using a property server.port. So if you see here, Tomcat has started on port number 8080. So let's see, how is it? So if you see here, there is no welcome page. We have not designed any REST endpoint. So let's write one. So I'm creating a hello world REST template. Also by default, Spring Boot uses Spring MVC. So if you are not aware about Spring MVC, I'll cover that in the next video. So let's see how. So if you see here, this is going to bring up a REST endpoint with the by default slash URL. Let's restart a Spring Boot application. So this should return hello from Tech Primers if we hit the same URL. We can also add uh, different URL paths just for checking how is it working. But yeah, for now, we'll just check the default path. So this has started. Let's go to the URL and hit. See here, we, all, we got the hello from Tech Primers from this session point. And this, this notation of writing a Java class is basically coming from Spring MVC. If you are aware about Jersey, Jersey also has a similar type of uh, 
annotation related um, java styling but this is spring mvc so that's it guys we saw how to create a spring application and how to run it let's meet in another video